Hi, and welcome to another episode of Engineerable. Today we're going to be taking a look at this drill press, specifically the drill press table, and how uh, this, some of these older drill presses like this that are still great drill presses, very solid, they don't have a crank or some way of raising and lowering the table easily. Maybe some newer drill presses are like this too, but uh, some of the drill presses I've seen have like a rack and pinion on the back and they have a crank to raise and lower. Well, this one does not have any of that. So this is just a straight steel column and it's uh, very difficult to raise and lower the table, especially if you have weight on there. So I mean, this is the, this is the current process for raising and lowering the table is after you unlock it, then you have to do this, uh, this wiggling motion while lifting at the same time to get it to raise and lower. And then lowering is a little bit easier, but raising it is very difficult and uh, a hassle. So I was trying to come up with some ideas about how to add a lifting mechanism. And I thought of like, Thread, like threaded rod, um, something with a kind of rack and pinion, we're using threaded rod or something like that. But it was all complex and kind of required a lot of um, fabrication to get it to work and just really wasn't worth it. Now we're considering adding like an XY table and a vise on this and it's just gonna be too hard to raise and lower this by hand because it's gonna be too heavy. So we need to come up with a good solution. I was involved with another project where we had to buy a big chain hoist to do some heavy lifting. And when I was doing the research for the chain hoist, which chain hoist to buy, I came across that, uh, the fact that there's also little tiny chain hoists. I didn't even know these things existed. I mean, they're super cute. And they just use a handle crank to raise and lower. That is a ratcheting handle. And you can either just like rotate it rapidly to move it or turn, swing the handle around. Uh, this knob which allows you to quickly move the chain up and down and it's got a rat it's got a ratcheting lever which you can switch the ratcheting back and forth so now you can you can ratchet up you can ratchet down you can use the ratchet um, except you have to have some tension on it and you can also just you can also just go all the way around like this if you don't have any load on it. I'm gonna tie something to the bottom that's got a little bit of weight to it. You need some load on this to really, for it to work. So then you can ratchet and it's gonna pick up your load. You can also go, like I said, all the way around like this. And you can turn this too, if it's light enough, you know, to quickly adjust until you get enough tension and you start to crank it. It'll also go rapidly like, like this way if you just pull on the other end of the chain. And you can also, I think, it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to descend rapidly like that. You can just pull it up rapidly. Uh. So the idea I had was to use this to lift the table with it and hook the top part with the handle somewhere up in, inside of the casting or even like above it maybe, possibly like the, there's a post right here. You could have something that's above, comes down, goes all the way through, because there's a hollow space all the way through. The belt goes around, so there's a hollow space all the way down through here. I could even, you know, like fit my hand way up in there. It's just empty inside there. And I think a lot of drill presses this size are gonna be kind of like that. So uh, you could have the chain going down through the top. The easiest way down the table is gonna to be to put the chain just around the neck of the table there and attach it like that. So it allows you to release it quickly also. And then what I decided to do was to put the hook up in here like this and then the handle is gonna be dangling down below like right there and then drill a hole in the casting and pass a long bolt through the, through the hole in the casting there to support that, that side of the hook. And then you'll be able to crank the table up and down pretty easily. So I'm gonna drill a hole through the casting right about here to try to keep the chain back as far away from the workspace as possible. Okay, so we got the hole on one side, now we need to drill a hole on the other side to match.
Okay, now that this hole is drilled all the way through, we can pass this bolt through, and we're gonna put, I'm gonna put my hook already up in there for the, for the chain hoist. Pass my bolt through to the other side. There we go. And now the chain hoist is suspended inside the casting. And I'm just gonna tighten up the, that screw with the other nut on the other side so it can't, this bolt can't fall out. And there we go. We have a chain hoist that's now suspended inside of the casting. And so this chain hoist, you can use it, like you can actually turn it to the side to kind of have more range if you need to lift and lo lower and lift. Um, it would be even more convenient if it had like, if you could spin this handle all the way around, but this is not so bad for the occasional adjustment of the table height. So now like when we want to do rapid adjustments, like to take up slack, you can just turn this handle here and there you go, it gets that tight. And then um, right now the table is tightened, but if I loosen the table up, the table's also just not gonna fall. And I can use this to crank the table up. And that's awfully close. We, we would not want to be this close normally. So uh, then I'll just show you. So then to descend, then we can flip the lever the other way and we can start descending and the table descends using gravity pretty easily. So just, this just kind of controls the descent if, it's, if it were heavy. Let's see if I can loosen it up some more. Let's see if it were heavy, you just go you could, you could also just add a lot of slack and let it descend. This, if you want this to stay in place better, we could um, zip tie this up here and it will stay in place better. But this is nice because I can take it off quickly. And then if I want to raise the table, start cranking. <laughs> 